Hello everyone, it's Mrs. Coach again. In our previous video, we had an example of trying to get an A from science class, and we found that by the conclusion. If we were to turn in all the missing marks, then we should be able to get an A from science class. So, we went over all the steps in the scientific method based on my question, okay? So you guys know how to form a question now. You can just guess a question, any of your choice. We talked about this in the previous video. And for those who did not watch the video or they pretended they watched the video, there's a question in the video. Let's see whoever, who is going to send me the result or the answer for the video. I have decided to have one question for each video. Every time when I have a video, I will have a question. Okay, let's see how many of you are following me or watching my videos after like actually watching them. Well, now in this video, you are going to be seeing the variables of my problem. Let's go to my problem. What was my problem? Here is my problem. How can I get an A from science class. This was the problem that we've been working on the whole time, right? We had uh, our research, we had the hypothesis, we had the experiment, an observation, then conclusion, right? So let's go back to hypothesis. Look at this hypothesis. What you see is two different Sentences. It's a compound sentence. It's like two different sentences, but they are all together. If I turn in all my missing words, then I will get an A, plot, a from science class, okay? Two different parts in one sentence. So I'm coming here. Now, variables, we know what the variables are. So dependent variables are the ones that are depending on something. Independent is something that we are changing, right? So I'm not changing anything on the getting an A part, but the getting A part depends on, right here, right over here, depending on whether I turn the missing word or not, okay? If I don't turn the missing word, then my grade is going to go down. If I do turn again, the, all the missing words, then I will get an A from science class. So dependent variables, I'm reading the bottom sentence the random variable for my problem is getting an a so it depends on whether i turn it or not okay so that's the dependent variable it depends on something so as you know we had three variables well control variables not like actual variables it's it's uh not something we have to find out and like change anything we usually go with two variables which is dependent and dependent independent so dependent variables we already just talked about it now the second one is independent variable so it's independent but something that we have to change so we have to do something about it like turning in all the missing words are you guys looking here turning in all missing works doesn't depend on anything it is something that i am doing other things are getting affected because of this, because I am turning in the assignments, because I am doing some work, okay? So independent variable is turning in all my missing work, okay? That's my independent variable. And dependent is getting an A. And independent, whoops, independent turning in all my missing words. So I'm going to go back to my hypothesis part. I will show you something is really cool, which I already showed you before. Let's see if you guys remember or not. So I'm going to underline the first sentence, okay? If I turn in all my missing words. This first sentence, whoops, this first sentence is usually independent variable okay oh it's so cool i don't have to worry about finding it out then after the the word then i have something is happening after the word then right here some things wow what a circle way to go on this one 
I will get an A from science class. So this is something depend on, dependent, variable, depending on turning in the missing words. Okay, so the second part is dependent variable. The first part, first part, not part, is the independent variable. Cool? Good. So let's go ahead and talk about the control variables. So controls are the ones that you're not even touching. You're not even talking about. They're not even in the sentence. Like, what did I not do during this experiment? Did I change the teacher? Did I change uh, the classwork? Did I change the computer friend? Did I change, I don't know, the house that I am living? Did I change my clothes? I didn't change anything. So it's something that we are not you're washing your hands off of it, okay? This is something we do not change. Something, something that is not getting changed the whole time. I have the same teacher. I have the same missing words. I have the same computer. I have the same of many of it, but I just put three of them, okay? These are the three that I just came to, that just came to my mind, okay? There's nothing else that we have to worry about it. But these two, whoops, that's done. I have a question for you. What is it that belongs to you, but everyone else use it more? That's my question for today. So there is something out there that belongs to you, but your friends use it more than you. Email me your answers. Thanks for watching. Bye.